Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Woodcraft. This is the new game from Vladimir Suchi with co-designer Ross Arnold, and I'm a big Suchi fan. In Woodcraft, we play as little forest creatures with green hair, and we make stuff out of wood. That's our sole purpose. We're making musical instruments, little household items, whatever it might be. We have our workshop here, and we even start with three pieces of wood in our lumber yard. One of each type. We have our green wood, which is the cheapest of the wood, and the pip value is kind of how big the piece of lumber is. We're gonna be using our workshop to manipulate this wood in order to build various different things. And at the very beginning of the game, we have a little bit of setup to do. We start with two of these contracts, and we're going to keep these. But then we were dealt out five starting contracts, and we need to select two of these to keep. I believe I'm going to keep these two right here. The other three are going to go into the discard pile. Now, out of these four contracts, we need to pick one as our starting contract. And I like this one right here, this little toolbox. This symbol up in the corner shows where along our contract row it begins. So it's going to begin here at the blueberry mark. Down here at the bottom, it shows exactly what kind of wood we need in order to make that. And then along the side here, what we're going to get as a reward when we complete the contract. These other three can just go off to the side. They will come into play later in the game. Now we get to pick our starting helper. We're dealt three of the starting helpers and we select one of them to keep. And I will keep this one right here. The other two get discarded. And we have to pay the blueberry cost. We start with 12 blueberries and I'm using poker chips to stand in for blueberries. So I'll spend three. Get two back. And this helper has an ongoing special ability where I get a discount whenever I use the market here. And you'll see how that works as we go through the game. And up here in the right-hand corner, we also have a little production bonus that will come into effect anytime we take a production action. Again, you'll see that all later in the game. As always, I'm gonna teach the rules as we go, as we play. So let's just jump right in and get started. In the solo game, we always get to take the first action. And the first thing that would happen on your turn, it's spelled out right here. Any wood that you had planted would grow. Now, at the beginning of the game, we have nothing planted, so we can ignore that for now. Now we get to take a main action, and that's where we turn to this action wheel. We have seven different wedges here, each that depict a different action that we can take. We're going to select one of those and then move it on. Now, I think right off the bat, I'd like to improve my workshop a little bit. And that would be this action right here. So I take this wedge and then I move it over into the next section. And I just drop it as far away in that section as I can. The wheel is divided into four quadrants. And so anytime you take an action, you're going to move it to the next quadrant. I think it to take the action and there's a bunch of different ways that I could upgrade my workshop here. I could add a yellow planter here if I wanted to. At the beginning of the game, the only thing I can plant is the green wood. But if I spent four blueberries, I could put out a yellow pot so I can plant yellow wood as well. I could add a gluing station here. There's a bunch of different things I could do, but what I wanna do is to add another saw blade. I have one starting saw blade. I want to add a second one. And you can see here the cost is three blueberries. I can then place this right here. And right there it shows that I'm getting an income. I'm getting a nut income. And so I'm going to move my marker forward one. The top marker is keeping track of my nut income. The bottom tracker is my blueberry income. And then here at the very bottom is influence. And now that I built my second saw, I have an ongoing special ability in which I'll get a two blueberry discount anytime I buy a size six piece of wood of any color. So now I got a couple of discounts here going. 
Now there's a bunch of anytime actions that I could do at this point, really anytime during my turn. I don't really want to do any of those right now, so I'm going to skip all that. At the very end of your turn, as is shown right here, you can actually spin blueberries to move up on your marketing track. And I think I will do that. So right here, it shows that first marker there. It says, spend two blueberries to get a point. You actually move your cube forward. And normally it would cost two blueberries, but I have this helper that's giving me a discount. So it's only going to cost me one. And then I gain a point on sort of the point tracker there. And there we go. That was my first turn. We now flip the top card from the shuffled solo deck. And it's just going to tell us what to do here. Now keep in mind, we're not actually playing against a solo opponent. We're simply just trying to get a high score. The book says that 110 is considered a good score. So that's what we're shooting for. This deck is just simulating another player sort of messing with things throughout the game. And what this icon is saying is to take the wedge that's the furthest back and to move it to the next quadrant. In this case, that is this action right here. When you move it to the next quadrant, you just move it as far to the right as you can until it contacts another wedge, and then it stops. And then down here, it's saying that the opponent's going to gain one influence. Now, the only reason we're tracking this is because we are racing to get to these little special ability tiles down the track. The first person to get here is going to get the middle reward, which for this first one is three blueberries. If they get there first, then the tile goes away and we get nothing. And there you go. That is a complete round of the game. We advance the turn tracker. As you can see, we're going to be doing that 14 times and then the game ends. It's really that simple. Okay, time for us to take our second turn. Nothing's planted, so we skip that. And the action that I want to take is this one here. Now this action is twofold. So first we get to sell one of our bits of lumber that's in our lumber yard. And we're gonna get blueberries equal to double the pip value. In addition, a yellow die would be worth plus one blueberry and a brown die would be worth plus two blueberries. Now in this case, I want to sell this green three. So that's gonna get us six blueberries. Now we can purchase a size six die, but it has to be of a different lumber type. We cannot get a six green. And that's fine because I want to get a six yellow. Now the price of that is just the pip value plus one for a yellow die, and it would be plus two for a brown die, but I get a two discount. So normally this would be seven, but for me, it's just five. So I converted a three green into a six yellow and even made a buck in the process. And now before the end of my turn, I wanna take one of those anytime actions that I referred to a little bit ago. And in this case, I wanna use one of my saw blades to cut this bit of lumber into two pieces. When you use a saw blade, you have to flip it over to its exhausted side. And now I can convert that six into two dice of an equal length. So I could do a one and a five, for instance, or I could do a two and a four. But in this case, I want to do a three and a three. If I had some of these tokens in my inventory, these are little extra saw blade tokens. I could then spend them now to do further cuts. Maybe I wanted to cut this three into a two and a one. I could do that now if I had one of these to spend. Your first cut always has to be from one of these saw blades though. And if you don't have any that are unexhausted, then you can't do any cuts. Now as another anytime action, I'd like to complete this contract because I have the two yellow threes and the brown one that I need to build this lovely toolbox. Simply spin these, and now we're gonna get the reward. So I'm getting four blueberries 
plus one because of where this contract's uh, location is. So that's five blueberries. I'm also getting a six green die and that particular tool. Not exactly sure what kind of tool that is, but uh, there we go. Now, up here in the attic area of our workshop was where we store our tools. At the beginning, we can place it in any one of these bottom spots. I'm just gonna place it right there. In the future, we want to put different types of tools adjacent because if you have two different tools adjacent to each other, you get the bonus that's in between them. And now that we've completed this contract, we just want to place it somewhere. I'm just going to put it right down here, face down, to show that we've completed it. Because at the end of the game, we're going to get points for those based on where we are here on this influence track. But I'll explain all that in due time. Now, if I wanted to continue to take some actions, some of those anytime actions, I could. But I'm all done. Oh, and I just realized. It's supposed to start with a lantern. I was missing my lantern. Okay. Then again, at the end of your turn, at the end of each of your turns, you have the option of whether you want to move forward one spot on the market track here, and I think I will. So I'm going to move forward, and it shows there are two blueberries for two points. I get a discount, so I'm spending one blueberry for two points. Now we just flip the next card. Okay, same action. This is the one that's furthest back. And they're moving up two on the influence track. Ooh, they're going to be hard to beat. And we move on to the third round. Now for my third action, I think I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last round. I'm going to take the sell and buy a die action. Now, two things are going to happen. One, I'm going to get the bonus that's below the wedge. And in that case, it's just one blueberry. And now that I'm moving it on to the next quadrant, it's passing over this needle here. And when that happens, you spin the wheel to the next spot and then place it there. Now what that's done is it's uncovered a bonus for some of these previous actions that we haven't taken. So now if we do any of those three actions, we're going to get a bonus piece of spare wood. For now, I can just sell. So I'm going to sell this green six, I think. I could sell that for 12 blueberries, which is pretty good. But I could also use that die. Ooh, I could just sell this for five. It would be four plus one because it's a yellow. Yeah, I think I'm going to save this piece of wood. I'm going to sell this yellow for five. And then I'm going to buy a brown six. Normally that would cost eight. Six plus two, I get a two discount. So it's just going to cost me six. Now we're set up with some really great pieces of wood there. And I think I will do this because it would normally just cost one blueberry. For me, it's going to be free and I get two points. Okay, interesting. So we're going to be moving these two wedges left to right. So this one moves first. And then that one. And you can see it stops right there. Anytime you move it into the next quadrant, you just slide it over until it hits another wedge and it stops right there. It doesn't go furthest down. You just slide it and it stops. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> they're going to be removing two of the contracts that are on the furthest most right. And that's a real bummer because I was really looking at getting that contract. So these just get discarded. And they're filled in with new ones. And we move to round four. Yeah, that was a real bummer. I think I will go ahead and get a couple of contracts. 
So because it was in that spot, I get a little bit of a bonus. I get a saw blade and two points. And with this action, you can pick up one contract for free or you can get two, but you have to spend three blueberries. Definitely want this one. And I'm gonna spend three bucks and grab this one. Now this might not have been the ideal time to pick up contracts as you'll see, but I wanted to make sure that I got those before they went away. And now I think as a free action, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this saw blade here since I have it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this six down into a five and a one. As you can see here, we only have room for six pieces of lumber in our in our lumber yard here. Okay, that was our turn. Ooh, here we go. So this is moving. And it's crossing that needle, so it's gonna move. And this one's moving. And then we're going to be removing these three dice and we have to re-roll them. We can buy the lumber here using that action right there. But as soon as they're taken, you then re-roll them. It's always filled up. So there we go. That's how we resolve that. Now that we're done with round four, we move into an income phase. During an income phase, you do several things. It's outlined right here on the board. The first thing you do is you lower all of your unfulfilled contracts by one. So the reward for completing them gets lower. And in fact, this contract has gotten so low that I'm actually going to lose a point when I complete it. If I don't complete it before the next income phase, I'll actually lose two influence. And that's why it may not have been a good idea to grab these when I did, but I didn't want them to go away. I wanted to make sure I had them. Now we get to add another contract to the row from our hand. There's some good stuff here. I want to add that one right there. Each income phase, we're gonna to get to add another one of those contracts from our hand. Now we get the income off from our income tracks here. And I haven't really moved up very far. I'm just getting the one point. I have no blueberry income at the moment, so that's fine. We now get to refresh any of these tools that we use. So we get to flip both of our saws up. And now the last two helpers and the last two contracts go away. We slide everything down and refill. And there we go. We just move on to the fifth round. Now, the first thing I want to do before I take an action is I want to do one of my anytime actions. I want to use this saw to cut this into a three and a three. And now I want to use this action right here. This is the planting action. As you can see, we're going to get some special abilities there. We're gonna get a spare wood. We're gonna get one of these tokens here. That's a reuse token. It lets you reuse one of your machines that you've used already, one of your uh, workshop parts. And we're gonna get three points. Now with that action, we get a choice. We can either do two productions and productions are these little bonuses on our characters. Now we only have one character, so we don't need to do two productions. So instead, we're going to do the second action, which is just do one production, but then get to plant. So for our one production, we get another piece of spare wood. And now we can plant. Now we only have a planter for green wood, and you can only plant a one or a two pipped die. So I have this one I could just plant right here. And one thing I could use is this five, because when you plant, you get to do a free cut without having to use your saw. So I could convert this into a four or even a three and then, you know, plant the one if I wanted to do that. But I don't. I want to keep that five. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant this one down here. 
At the beginning of every round, that's going to increase by two pips. And now, as you can see, I have completed what I need for this little planter here. I needed a five green and two pieces of spare wood. So we just spin those. Like I said, this is down here in the minus one point category, so I actually lose a point. Back to 10. But I'm going to get three blueberries. One production, which is going to be this person, which is a spare wood. And a tool of my choice. Now, like I said before, you want to have different tools. And so I don't want to get one of those or one of those or what I have. So maybe I'll just get a saw. And now I really just have two places where I could put it. I could put it here if I wanted, or I could put it here. I can't put it up here until the two bottom spots are filled. We're doing sort of a pyramid thing there. I think I'm going to put it right here because that is going to get me not two blueberries, but two blueberry income. Anytime you have that little hand underneath it, it means income. And now the next tool that I get, I could put up here. And if it were different than both of those two, I'd get the things there in the middle. So that's our goal. So that card's all done. We can put it down here in our completed pile. And I think I will move up on this track. Normally that would cost four. It'll cost me three to get three points. All right. There we go. These solo cards are just so easy to work with. It's incredible. On to round six. Now, at the beginning of our turn, we did plant something, so we're getting a little bit of growth. That's going to go from a one to a three. Now, as a free action, we can harvest this at any time. But if we leave it there, it'll go to a five in our next, uh, next round. So that might be worthwhile. Okay, we need a bunch of green dice here for these contracts. So I might want to just buy some dice from this little market here. So I'm going to take this action. That action is going to let me buy two of these, up to two. Now the cool thing is we have a little bonus there. We're going to get a glue and a spare wood. Now I haven't mentioned it, but we can use the spare wood here. Spin that, and that's going to let us increase one of these by one. And we could upgrade things here so that we could spend it to give us a plus one or two. And the furthest upgrade would be one to four increase. So that's really cool. Now you have to build these in order. So you have to do the, the two one before you can do the four one. The other thing we could upgrade is to build a gluing station, which would actually let us spend a glue to glue two dice together and add up the value. But instead we're gonna buy some dice. It's gonna move over to here. I only have seven bucks. Hmm, so I can't exactly buy what I want. I think I'm gonna buy this one, which is gonna cost three, four, five. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna buy this. That's gonna cost three. And then I'll buy this two. That'll be five, five altogether. We then need to refill that area. And now I want to take a few of my anytime actions. So first I am going to use this station here. I'm going to spend a spare wood in order to increase this one into a two. And then flip that. And I actually think I'll hold off for now. That's all I'm going to do. And you can see here at the end, I cannot afford five blueberries for four points. So I'll skip that. Ooh, wow. 
keeps taking the contracts I want. That's amazing. So the contract one's gonna move over to here. Get two influence and is gonna unfortunately grab that. That'll just go out of play. They got there before we could. And snags that contract before we could. That is a shame. Hmm, all right. Okay, round seven. This grows into a five, and as a free action, I can harvest it. And now as a free action, I am going to cut it into a four. And a one. I'm then going to use my reuse token to flip that back over so I can use it again. We'll add the spare wood to this two, making it a three. And then again, another free action is to complete a contract. We have the one, three, and four of green to complete this contract. We get no bonus there, but we are getting five blueberries. One production, which is still just a wood, spare wood, and we get another tool. Now I could put it here and get a production, but I think I'll put it up here and get that, because those two are different, a production. And there as well, my first influence or reputation. I forget, I forget what that track's called. Okay, there we go. And I haven't taken my main action yet. Those, those are all anytime actions. So my main action is gonna be to get a couple more contracts. So it's right there. Looks like we're getting a point. I'm gonna spend three so I can get two contracts. want that one, and I want that one. And you can have multiple contracts in the same level, that's totally fine. There we go, I think I am done. Ooh, okay, this is moving forward. There we go, on to round eight. Now, one thing that I really love about this game and just gaming in general is trying to puzzle through how you can achieve your goal. And a lot of times it's not obvious how to do it because there's multiple ways. There's more complex solutions. And this is one of those moments. Now, I really want to complete this objective here. I have the three brown and the two brown. I just need a one of green. Now pause the video here and see if you can figure out how I get it. I'm kind of spoiling things there because I didn't think there was any way. I couldn't figure it out. I can't cut. I've used all my stuff. How am I going to get a one green? It's not out here. But I kept looking and there is a solution. We're going to take this action right here. Now we're going to get a bunch of bonuses. We're going to get one reputation or influence. We're going to get two points. And we're gonna get a two of either green or brown. Well, we're gonna take two, of course, of green. That then moves over and we're gonna plant. We get one production, which will be a spare piece of wood. And now, do you remember when I said that if you're planting, you can get a free cut? So instead of planting the two, we're gonna cut it into a one and a one. And there you go, we got our green one. We can now complete this objective with a three, a two, and a one. We get two reputation. I should really look to see if it's <laughs> reputation or influence. One point and a yellow six. It is reputation, <laughs> not, not influence, reputation. Now, the reason it's so important to go up this reputation track is if you look up there, now that we've gotten here, all of our fulfilled contracts at the end of the game are going to be worth two points. And as you move up the track, three, four, five, six, 
those multipliers become really important. So we need to get going up that track if, if we can. Okay, well, I think that was my turn. Okay, those two are moving. And that's it. So now we're going into the second income phase. And this one is a little bit different. We still lower all of our unfulfilled contracts and add one to the row. I guess I'll add this one. We get our income here, so that's just one point and two money. We thankfully get to flip over our stuff. And now instead of just removing these last two, we actually are gonna clear off all the cards here. We're gonna discard those decks and bring in the level two decks. Now you might be wondering what that white cube is there on the turn order track. That's a reminder that at the beginning of round 10, one of those three contracts, public contracts, are gonna go away. One that hasn't been claimed. So how do we claim those public contracts? Well, it has to do with these two contracts that we started with that have this back on them. When we complete them, we have the choice of either marking one of those contracts, which will give us points at the end of the game, or just taking the five points and five blueberries. I'm not too concerned about which one of those is gonna go away. One of them is gonna go away at random. It's not that big of a deal. Now, at the beginning of my turn, this one becomes a three. It's really hard to turn down that reward. So I think we will take this action here. Two points. It's gonna get us a glue and a brown or a green two. I will take the green two. So this action allows us to purchase one of these uh, helpers. I've got six money, so I can afford any of them. And I really like this one because it gets me just a tool of my choice. And I am trying to collect tools a little bit here. But this one would let me move up two on both income tracks. And as you can see here, that would pass me over that spot, which would also give me a tool. It's a difficult choice. I think instead I'm going to take this one. That is four blueberries. And now I have to place it adjacent to the previous helper. So it's either gotta go here or here. And that's gonna increase either my blueberry income or my nut income. And I wanna increase the blueberry income. We're gonna try to get there and get that tool. Now they don't have a special ability, but if I do their production, I'll get a four green and that is interesting to me. Yeah, I'll flip that over, that's confusing me. So I'm gonna harvest this a little bit early and then I'm gonna cut it. Cut it into a two and a one, which now gives me that. Two twos, yellow six, boom. I'm gonna get one reputation. So we're catching up. I'm gonna get a lantern. Now I haven't really mentioned what these lanterns do. The main thing is if you get three of them, you can spend them to take an extra turn. That's kind of what we're gearing up for. You can also use a single lantern to take a different action than the tile you move. Now there's some edge case reasons why you might do that that I don't wanna get into right now. Maybe we'll worry about that later. Now we also get a four brown. Not too shabby. And we get a much needed six blueberries and four points. I think that is our turn right there. So let's see. Ooh, okay. Oh, and this should, this should actually be removed. You place that at the beginning of the game, but then once you've done a full rotation, you remove it. And then this will come over like that. And then taking that worker. Let's 
So that cube means that one of the unoccupied public objectives is going to go away randomly. Let's just roll. Six. There we go. That one goes away. And now it's our turn. So we're very much in position to do that objective. I'm honestly contemplating just purchasing another person here. Mm, yeah, I think we are. Yeah, we're going to do this again. That's going to give us a bonus of one reputation. That's fantastic. And there's a ton of good options here. Really a ton, but I think this is the one for me. So that's going to cost five. And once again, I could place it here, I could place it here, or I could place it here. And something special happens when I place here. So let's do that. First, I'm going to get a nut income. We're going to place it down. I'm immediately going to get this. That's what that lightning bolt means. So I'm immediately getting two blueberry income and two nut income. And with both of those, I am passing that tool space. So I'm going to be getting two tools of my choice. And I think we're going to try to just build up here. So first things first, we're going to put this right here. That's going to give us one production. Let's take that four. And that opens us up to put something right here. And now we're getting both of those and that. So we're getting two lanterns. And a nut income. Fantastic. And now that we've built this little pyramid, we can now come up here. And now you can see this symbol right here. It says we have the little lightning bolt, which means you do it immediately for production. So now we get to produce on all three of these. So that means another four green, as well as two berries and a scrap of wood. I think I will spend three lanterns to get a bonus action. Now, when you do that, you don't move one of these wedges. You just pick one of the actions and take it and you get none of the bonuses that are on the wheel. I wanna do this planting action. So I'm going to get one production. We'll get another four of green. Why not? Let's just load up on some greens here. Then I want to plant a green. I'm going to take one of these fours, make it a one and a three. Again, you get that free cut. And then I've got the four and the three of green to complete this contract. Getting another tool. And we're going to toss it right up there. That means I'm getting one reputation, three nut income. I then pass that, so that means I'm going to get three points right away. I'm also going to get two more points. And three, four blueberries. Nice. Not only that, but we're really close to being set up for that one as well. Awesome. There we go. That's the end of my turn. Now I could do this. Let's not forget about that, but I'm worried about my money situation. Ugh. We don't have a ton of turns left. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to spend five to move this forward with my discount, get four points. All right, that's the end of my turn. Last card here. Ooh, okay, so this is moving on. And so is that. And that person is gone. All right, we'll have to shuffle that back up. Move on to round 11. Beginning of the turn, this grows. 
Well, we got a couple options here. We could sell and then buy a yellow six, but there's a yellow six right there. Problem is, I don't have enough money. And we want to make sure we use our stuff here because we're about to go into an income and things are going to get uh, flipped back over. So we want to prepare. Okay, there might be a better way of doing this, I don't know, but uh, I think this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this action here. That's going to give me two blueberries. As a bonus. This lets me buy one or two from this area. I'm going to buy that six of yellow. Normally that would cost seven, but I get a discount of two, so that's five. I'm then going to use my saw here. Cut that into a five and a one. And boom, there we go. Five, one, two spare wood, a glue, and we've done it. Now, we could get the uh, five points and five money, but we're not going to. Instead, we're going to take one of our spare cubes, and we're going to put it on one of these objectives. Now, that objective is just three points at the end of the game for every saw and... I forget what these are called. The spare wood uh, uh, station there. So right now we have three, so that would just be nine points. No, no, we have six tools right now. I think we're going to get to seven, so let's put our cube on there. That's going to be 18 points at the end of the game if we can get to seven. Also, we're here in the one blueberry spot, so we'll get that as well. And we'll add that to our completed contracts. Like I said, there might have been a smarter way of doing that, but I didn't see it. Now, we want to use this, I think, <laughs> before we go into the uh, income phase. And I'm trying to see if we want to add one to anything. Yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to add one. Spend a spare wood. We're going to make that. Ooh, no, actually, I don't want to do that. Nope, I do. I do want to do this. We're going to make that into a five. Okay. I think that's it. That's all we're doing. And one point. Okay. Ooh, it's a race to get to that. Okay, there we go. Income. Nothing's going to move down. Our last contract is coming out. And look at our income now. We're getting five blueberries and eight points. That's more like it. Get to flip everything. Beginning of our turn. This goes to a five. And we're going to harvest it. Now the question we have is, I definitely want to complete this if I can. And I can. I can complete this right now. I'm doing this action here. We're going to upgrade. We get a couple of uh, bonuses here. We're going to get two blueberries and a spare wood. There's a couple of good ones here, but I just want another saw blade. I want my third and final saw blade. So that's going to cost four. But I'm going to immediately get two reputation. Boom, boom. And I get the middle reward on this tile. It's two points. And a production. Let's take that four green. We're really using that production a lot. And I'm loving it. Now, when we place this, we get a nut income. Gotta love that. And now let's do some cutting. We're going to cut this five here into a three and a two. Now, as you can see, we don't have space in our lumber yard, but you don't check that till the end of your turn. So we're fine for now.
Now I'm going to use one of my little saw blades here so I can get an extra cut. And so my extra cut is going to cut this two into a one and a one. We're then going to use our spare wood to increase one of those ones back to a two. And now we got it. Five, three, two, and one. We're going to get one blueberry. And I'm going to put a marker on that other card there because now that one is worth 12 points. It also means that one of them won't go away when we get to the next round. And if I can add a few more improvements, we can even get even more points. Fantastic. Can't afford to move up here, unfortunately. So that is going to be our turn. Ooh, and look at that. We did it just in time. We're going to move up two. And they're going to take the furthest back and move it up. That's this one. And it's just going to shift right there. And ooh, that now becomes nice and juicy there. I like that. So we're going to move to the next round. And we now have two more rounds. Two more rounds. That's it. Wow. So I definitely want to get another contract. And we want to get another tool. Yep, I think we have to do this. We're not getting any bonuses, but we absolutely want that. Now, we could spend three to get another one, but I think we're going to do well to complete this one. And if you have leftover contracts at the end of the game, you actually lose reputation. Okay, this is moving. Right, last round, last round. All we need is one glue to complete this. But we now have a different way that we could get glue. We can get glue by taking that action right there, the planting action. Okay, yep, we're going to do this. So we're going to take that action, get a glue. There's no reason to do any planting, so we'll just do... Two blueberries and this four. We'll then do a cut to turn that into two twos. And we'll do another cut, which will turn that into a one and a two. And boom, two twos, a one, a four, two glue, we've done it. So we're getting one reputation. We're getting 10 blueberries, three points, three, and That tool right there, which can come into this spot. <laughs> yeah, there's a weird spot right there. And that's going to give us seven points. And when you get over 50, you can just put a marker there to mark that. And at the end of our turn, we have enough money here to do... One of these is going to be seven to get six more points. And there we go. I think that's all that I can do. I'm not even sure this matters, but let's do it. Yep, doesn't matter. We come to the income, and we do get our income. So obviously we don't have to really worry about anything else except for our income here. 
So getting nine points and five blueberries. 68. And there we go. Now we go to final scoring. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to score our public contracts. So we did manage to get seven tools. So that's going to be 18 points. And then over here, we have one, two, three, four. So we're getting 12 additional points. That's 30 altogether. That brings us to 98. Not bad. Now, the second thing you score is your leftovers. We take your leftover blueberries and the pips on your dice, as well as any of these you might have, glue, spare wood, etc. And for every 10 of those things, you get a point. So let's see here. We have a lot of leftover blueberries, unfortunately. That's 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. So unfortunately, that's just two extra points. That does get us to 100 even. Now, if we had any leftover contracts here, we would actually lose two reputation. But we managed to complete all of ours. So now we're going to get points for our completed contracts based on where we are on the reputation track. You can see here we're getting five points for each of these. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And there we go. We got 145 points. The rule book says that 110 for a solo game is a good score and 140 is excellent. So we did an excellent job of woodcrafting. <laughs> So there you go, everyone. That was a complete solo play of Woodcraft. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.